There's one good and bad thing about every hide and seek map. In less than two minutes, go. An actual door frame is a good spot in Madhouse, but is only available for the Hive's Halloween event. And speaking of it, Talavera is the only map to change during Hive's Halloween event, but the best spot in both variants is out in the open. Plasma has cool building designs, but the layout isn't too fun. Office has the piston, but overall the map is just boring. Kingston is the only map to change for the Hive's Christmas event, but there's a pretty unfair spot in both variants that is easy to get to via another player. Hospital is really good for beginner seekers, but can be very difficult for hiders. Gold Rush has the biggest background in hide and seek, but as far as I know, there is no definitive great spot. Sotaterras is the biggest overall map in hide and seek, and because of that, 15 kill games are very difficult. A silly fan is a decent spot in Hacienda, but it involves a pretty difficult head header jump. Chop is what you get if we go back, back in time, <laughs> but besides that, it's pretty underwhelming compared to all other maps. Harvest utilizes Mossy Cobblestone, which was previously only available in custom servers, but like Chime, it's pretty underwhelming compared to all other maps. Perpia is based on a real place, but contains the easiest out of map bug in the game. Nexus City has pretty solid looking rooms, but one of the rooms got blocked off from hiders due to the recent Dark Gore patch. Chinatown contains one of the best hide and seek spots, period, but getting to it is pretty difficult. Humbug Street is a pretty cool Easter egg out of the map, but it's only available for Kai's Christmas event. Winter Fair is an entire Christmas themed carnival, but it's only available for Hive's Christmas event. And the design is at least solid for a town square map, but the layout was made too heavily in favor of the runners.